Okay, so I've been trying for a long time now to really understand how rewrite rules work with SEO. Okay, it's very important because this link that I have up here has not only index in it, which no one likes to see, it's got the page extension, which again, no one likes to see. It's got these question marks, and these can get actually pretty extensive. Lots, lots of question marks. Actually, it's a question mark and lots of ampersands, and you have lots of equal signs, like page ID equals. So yeah, the person's able to decipher how this page works based on this. It's not very cool. Okay, so what we want to have happen is we want this to be prettier in terms of we wanted to go like 2009, well I already have it written here, dash this is a pretty URL, okay, that SEO likes. I want this link to still give my PHP file that same 2009 data, which is now here, but in a much prettier fashion. So here's the thing to note. You're never ever going to have this redirected to prettier URL. Okay, what you're going to do is make all your links be pretty links that then get changed to this behind the scenes. So the URL bar never rewrites, okay? What it does is rewrites how the page sees it. That's very important to understand. This will never change. If you go here, it will always be this. But if you go here, our goal is to make it this. Go to this without ever seeing it, okay? So we're going to go here. First things first, For we're going to go in our ht access file. If you don't have it, it goes in your root directory. It starts with the dot because it's hidden, and it's ht access, two c's, two s's. Okay, you can see it right there. First things, options plus follow sim links. You sometimes need this, but I, I think you should always put it in here. Next, let's turn our rewrite engine on. And while we're here, let's take a pause and notice, never copy and paste this information from any... You're going to look this up online, and you're going to copy what they wrote and try it out. If you get failures there, it may not be because the code isn't correct. It may be because of hidden characters and spaces found on the web. It very particular has to be very plain text, Unicode text for an HD access file. If I put in a simple bracket, you get an internal 500 or internal server error, which is a horrible error to get on a page. This is very bad. So you need to make sure that everything is typed correctly. So you should type it by hand and not copy and paste, because invisible characters do happen. So. We need a new rewrite rule, okay? So here's what we want to do. We're going to match everything. So we're going to we're going to start by matching. So everything after this first space is matching. So we are going to put what we want in parentheses. That will remember what's in the parentheses, okay? We want to remember period for all types of characters, which would be numbers, letters, symbols, and then star or asterisk for all occurrences of all types of characters. We're going to do this and remember it until we get to an underscore. Okay? Underscore is going to be our stopping point. All right? And then we want we want to we want that to go, okay? So so this is our match. So so let me pull this back over. So we're going to start from here. We're going to match all types of characters and as many occurrences as they come in until we get to this first underscore. So it's going to match 2009. Okay? Now, we need to go where we want that to go to. Well, we wanted it to go to here. That's where we want it to go to. So let's copy that, space, and paste it here. Okay? That's going to go to index.php, question mark, page ID equals. Now, we obviously can't write 2009 here, but since we have one set of parentheses, we do money sign or dollar sign one. Okay? So that's going to match everything until the underscore, but not the underscore, and redirect it, not really redirect, but rewrite the URL to this. So if this works, when we go to this pretty page, like that, there we go. Now we have a very pretty URL passing this data in, this 2009 data in, and it's very nice. So you and you'll actually, if you think that the data is not passed, go to any forum that has a SEO program running and check out the first, uh, the first thing after the URL. You'll notice that that is actually the post ID or the thread ID. So don't, you're not going to do this for internal database things that have a million things passed through because it's going to be impossible to take care of them all. But for home pages that you have to pass in numbers to, this is a really good way to do it. You need to rewrite the URL, pass the data in the first one, wait to the first underscore, and then just have a very nice URL. So again, to reiterate, the URL that you give people and you link to is going to be this, the pretty URL. Link to the pretty URL. 
do not link to the unpretty URL because this, no matter what, will always look ugly.